Bibliophiles of the internet, my name is Adriana and today I'm here to help announce the upcoming ninth round of Tome Topple as well as what I plan to read for the event. As many of you know, Tome Topple is a two week long readathon created to encourage folks to focus on books that are 500 plus pages. I say this every round, but as far as format, genre, content, or language, pretty much everything goes. If it's 500 or more pages, it counts. The next round of Tome Topple is going to take place starting at midnight in your time zone on November 9th and go until 11.59 p.m. again in your time zone on November 22nd. You definitely want to be following us on social media for the best possible experience. You can find us at Tome underscore Topple on Twitter and you can use the hashtag Tome Topple for all of your updates across all social media platforms. We also have a Goodreads group where you can find recommendations, buddy reads, discussion topics for popular tomes, and just good people and even more support. I believe we're also continuing with the Instagram challenges and possibly a bingo board type thing which is going to be posted on Sam's Instagram as we get closer to November 9th so when that is posted that link will also be down below. Besides myself, there are lots of amazing folks helping to run this event. Our fearless creator and leader, Sam from Thoughts on Tomes, Sarah Jane from The Book Life, Sean from Reader's Rambles, Kaz from Little Book Owl, Sam from Will Read for Booze, and Jocelyn from Yogi with a Book. Absolutely everything I just mentioned, all the important links, resources, people, dates, and info will be in the description below, so be sure to pop down there and give that a look. Then of course we do have our five trademark reading challenges. I believe we've kept them the same as round eight. And those are to number one, read more than one tome. Number two, read the tome that's been on your TBR the longest. Number three, read a tome that's part of a series. Number four, read a tome from a genre you don't usually read. And number five, read an adult book. As always, the challenges are not required at all. You can double up, triple up, quadruple up on challenges or read one book that satisfies all the challenges or you can ignore the challenges completely and read whatever you want. It's totally your choice. And as I said, you pretty much have free reign over what you wanna read and how you wanna read it. It's an honor system. There are no Tome Topple police. So as for myself, I think I want to be ambitious, and I think because one of these books is a very, very long audiobook, I can afford a second reading choice. The first book I want to listen to is The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. Yes, I'm gonna freaking do it. From what I know, which isn't much, this is a chunky queer fantasy with three focal characters, an unmarried queen who is being forced to have an heir, a secretly magical lady-in-waiting who keeps an eye on the queen from the shadows with forbidden magic, and a dragon rider from across the sea who is facing some kind of impossible choice. None of that means much to me at this point, but people have loved this story so much despite its daunting size, and I got really excited about it when I heard Samantha Shannon speak about her writing process for this story on the 88 Cups of Tea podcast, so I'm gonna do it. My second choice overlaps with Indigathon, which you should definitely check out. It's a month-long celebration of Indigenous literature since November is Native Heritage Month, and so that inspired me to pick up The Way of Thorn and Thunder by Daniel Heath Justice. And I'm pretty sure I was first recommended this book by Jocelyn from Yogi with a Book, so that's a really nice full circle moment. I believe the author is Two-Spirit and belongs to the Cherokee Nation of Oklahoma. This is an own voices epic fantasy saga about this ancient world called the Everland, which is under siege by the race of men who hope to siphon and claim its magic. The main character, Tarsadashe, accidentally awakens this long-suppressed weird magic and is thrown into a world of political and spiritual intrigue, caught between the old ways of the Greenwalkers and those who would surrender to the new ways of men. Again, I don't know much more about this, but I'm really excited to finally experience it. So that's what I plan on reading for this next round of Tome Topple and everything you need to know for this event. In the comments below, let me know if you plan on taking part in Tome Topple Round 9, and feel free to share your own TBR selections so we can discuss. But that's everything I had for this announcement in TBR today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the flip side of the page. Bye!